Seamus McGinty. Okay, so last week we prepared the face which we're going to be painting today. Um, so what you need today is a selection of acrylic paints, um, a selection of different size paint brushes, a scissors, um, a ruler, some wooden dowels which you can get in the hardware shop, elastic bands, some non-stretchy twine, some wire and uh, jewellery pliers and some water for your brushes. So today we'll both be um, painting the face and the hands and feet of your marionette and also we'll be making the hand piece so I'll show you how to string up the puppet as well. Now all you need for this part is a selection of brushes, different sizes, a selection of different coloured acrylic paints, some water for your brushes and the marionette face that you're going to paint. Acrylic paint actually strengthens the clay so if you build up many layers that's just strengthening your marionette head and hands and feet so we'll just get going. Oh I'm going to begin with the white of the eyes, the lighter colours first, the white of the eyes and also the overall face colour.
Okay, so while we're waiting for the hands and feet to dry, we'll just move on to the next step, which is making the hand piece. So we get the longest uh, dowel, little piece of wood, and we're going to we're going to hang the main string. So from the head, we're going to hang that from the middle of this string, and also we'll hang the two hands on one dowel and the two feet on the other dowel. So we just need to attach the three of these together first. So we'll just use elastic bands for this. You can also buy wooden hand pieces online, which are more elaborate and they allow for different kinds of movements. But this is just a simple, cheap technique. Just go once more to make it a little bit more tight. Have that done, so we'll just do the second one. Okay, so now we're going to string up the marionette to the handpiece that we've made. So I'll just show you how to do that. So it helps if we begin by attaching the string to the head, head of the marionette first, and then we're going to stand up to uh, get the right length of string. Okay. So make sure you use a non-elastic string so, so it doesn't stretch. So it's good to do many knots here because this string would be taken most of the weight, or all of the weight actually. Now, once we've got that attached, we just need to get the right length by having your arm roughly parallel to the floor. So you'll be holding the controller here. So we have that length now. I'm going to grab the tape measure. So once the legs are straight on the floor, so that's 25, 25 inches. We'll add on about three inches either side to allow for room for tying. So 28, 31, 31 inches. Now, so the next stage is tying the string onto the handpiece. So for the head string, we, we place the knot here. So we're going to be attaching it in the middle of both elastic bands. Now, so the next string that we're going to add is the hands. So this one will obviously be a bit longer than 31 inches because the hands are down much lower. So 
and just tie that on to this loop of wire here. Okay, so just make sure that the hand isn't lifting up at all. And we'll be attaching the hands to the back, the shorter pole. So that looks about right. You can just wrap it around the top a little bit. Okay, so we'll just tie that off now. Just snip the excess. We'll just repeat that process now, tying on to the loop on the other hand. Make sure you hold the handpiece so the, the shorter pull is at the back, parallel to the wall standing like me. So again just make sure that the arm is, is down flat but the hand hasn't risen up and you can just wrap the thread around the top. Now and we'll just tie that off. So we just have the feet, or should I say the knees, to attach the thread to now. So there are three loops here, one loop coming from the thigh, one from the lower leg, and then the middle loop is the one that we're going to attach the thread to, the joining loop. Now we can just lift the arm behind the leg string there because the leg will be on the front pole. So just make sure that the knee isn't the leg isn't being lifted up here. And wrap it around a few times at the top. And now we'll tie it off. the last string we we'll just attach it onto the other knee yeah so we'll just wrap that around here like we did with the others make sure the leg is straight and that the knee isn't lifting now we'll just tie that off So now you can experiment so we can move the front leg strings like this and we can also move our arm strings or you can loop the arm strings around the front just to lift your arms up a little bit so you can experiment with different things and okay so thanks for watching guys so i hope you have fun trying to do this and next week we're going to be attaching some hair and also making a costume for the character. So I hope you join me then. Thanks. Bye.